metaphorical and figurative speech, as well as very much literal speech, obviously, um, used throughout Scripture. Uh, one thing to note is, you know, Jesus is the Son. And we've all been indoctrinated to believe that the, the Son, Jesus is the healer. The Son heals. They say the Son causes cancer. They tell you to put sunscreen on and wear sunglasses. And doing those things causes the cancer. Putting on sunscreen with carcinogens in the lotions causes cancer. Wearing sunglasses that disarms your body from using the proper mechanisms to protect you from overexposure of particular frequencies causes cancer. Your body needs to adapt to uh, the amount of sun. This includes people like me. I'm a pasty redhead. Okay, I know this from experience. It's a lie. Okay, it's a lie. The sun heals. The sun heals your body. And so does the sun. Satanists want to profane and actively try to attempt to profane everything that God calls good. God has done and provided everything that we need. And if you don't have any clue what I'm talking about, Satanists, if you go to my page, you'll learn just a little bit, just a tad, just a tad bit uh, about it. Um, God has provided everything for us to help us, to benefit us, to protect us, to heal us. Um, Jesus is the healer. He will heal us spiritually. God will heal us physically. Um, God has provided everything, but we have to be willing to go to Him. You need to go to the sun. You need to step outside in the sun um, to get the healing. Um, and, uh, strength and immunity to the body that you need. You have to be willing to take those sunshades off and look into the light. Let your eyes absorb the light into the body, both metaphorically and literally. Um, God commands us to follow certain steps in order to uh, obtain salvation in Christ through his son. That includes baptism. He's also the living water. We have to participate in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ in the watery graves of baptism to be born again in newness of life spiritually through baptism in Christ to be to join and be part of the body of Christ, which Christ is the head of the church. God's word is also our manna from heaven that we must feast on daily.